Greetings and salutations. Welcome to Mad Tinker Gaming with me, your host, Mad Tinker. Now, I didn't do one of these videos last night because, well, I was just kind of tired and I really didn't feel like it. So I haven't hit my Dark Dimensions 3 yet for yesterday and what will be upcoming for today. So I'm going to try to get in here and do this twice, in essence, for you. So you can see two runs. I did make it to Node 3. Uh, some of those footages were included in my past few videos. So I'll check back and see what day I'm actually on on my video footage first before I upload this. And uh, make sure I put the right number on it. It's probably going to be more like day 7 or 8 for me. Um, but anyway, I went in with like half of a leftover team and it got hammered. This is arguably what people have been calling one of the worst ones to go up against because of the Black Panther and Gamora. They're saying the Black Panther Gamora combo is absolutely atrocious to deal with. Um, because you can never hit them. You're always focusing on Drax or uh, Miss Marvel, and they just punish you for it. So, anyway, we're going to go in here and we're going to try this. Let's get it started. <coughs> this is my lineup team. I'm taking Groot out to put Hela in for a little bit more damage because Groot, let's face it, he's so slow, he's not actually accomplishing anything for me, so maybe at least with her minion Greg and some extra damage we can get in. I have recently added Mr. Sinister to my mix, so we'll see what that does. Alright. This will probably go by really quick. And if we have to wait a little bit of time in between, I'll give you some of my thoughts on the Red Star orb rework that has been done. Uh, I'm not sure if it's really better for us as players or better for the company. Um, we'll see what happens. I'll get your feedback on it after we do this. Okay, there's 42 characters in this, so this is a ridiculous amount of characters to have to fight through for one. That's going to make this a very tedious, long train. You know, I figured like 32 to 36 is long. This is just tedium. <coughs> okay, let's go ahead and start focusing on this. Miss Marvel over here. I've heard that she is very dangerous to leave out on the field. She doesn't bode well for you. Let's pick up the pace, guys. Oh, there goes my other right off the bat. So, not a big deal there. Get the defense down. This is going to be one of those where it's just a let's go in here and hit real quick and then die. I will not be respending charges this time around. Um, as an upcoming event is going to affect that for me, so I'm just doing one shot at this for each possible run. I'm not going to be spending cores on healing up Phoenix for the next two weeks. I'll explain why in between these two little runs. Well, let's see. So that's my run for the day. Now, the reason why I'm not going to spend cores is because of something that just got posted in a blog. There's an event going to be happening on Earth Day. It's starting the 25th, I believe, at 515 PDT. And it's supposed to be where if you go in and you do your Alliance events, right, uh, the Alliance donations, how you go through the box stages. Uh, right now, if you get to the third box, which is everybody in your Alliance donating 10,000 gold, and I don't know why everybody that has alliance isn't doing this, because if you donate your 10,000 gold at the third box, you get 10,000 gold back, so you lose absolutely nothing that you've put in, okay? So you're trying to get to this, so you just donate 10K and you get to the third box. Well, for everybody that does the third box on, you're going to get extra promotion credits, okay? And what they guaranteed was if everybody over the course of the seven day run of the event clears to this fifth box every single day. So you have to clear to the fifth box for seven days. So that's everybody in your alliance spending 500 credits every day. Then, ta-da, you will get enough promotion credits to take a character from a red four star to a five star. <coughs> now, normally they're going to charge you like $150 to do this. Okay, in any kind of thing that they've got, the, the build-ups, the add-ups, like right now, if you look at their Red Star promotions, which I'll go take a quick show right here, just to 
show this to you so you know what I'm talking about under their offers here they're doing the red star promotions right I'm trying to say that for most times if you're going to go to a from a four to a five star it requires 150 promotion credits so right now even with their red star bonus offers it costs like hundred and fifty dollars to do so this one gives you 40 credits you have to purchase that twice that puts you at 80 this one gets you 25 so you have to purchase it twice that gives you 50 more so that puts you at 130 and this one gives you 10 so you have to purchase it twice to give you the full 150 promotion credits you need so you're looking at 150 dollars to go from one four to one five star where if you do this when you save all of your cores over this next week and the actual week of the event you're going to get 300 to 400 cores roughly a day if you do all of your dailies and you compete in milestone events and all of this stuff you can save up at least 250 a day okay <coughs> and if you save 250 a day over the course of the next seven days that's going to get you about half of what you need and then the next seven days will get you the other half of what you need to put in 500 cores a day and get you one in essence free four to five star promotion so for any alliance out there this is some good stuff for you all to do if you can actually accomplish it everybody has to be on page to go in and put the 500 cores in every day if one person misses you fail you, you don't get it it's one for one it's a hundred percent put in or nothing at all so make sure your alliance is all on board before you go spending money to try and come up with the cores you can save them up without spending money but I, I don't know why anybody wouldn't want this because then you get a free four to five star upgrade also just the basic red star conversions <coughs> aren't really in favor of the players they're in favor of of course Scopely slash Fox next whoever you want to call them at this point um, what happens when you go in and you go over to your red stars and you're clicking on your orbs right <clears throat> now you have to spend a thousand of these to get one silver promotion credit so a thousand of them gets you one okay that conversion rate is ludicrous um, you, you do better just doing your daily routines and donating your 10k to get one of them okay this one is something that you shouldn't do but right down here if you had 5,000 of these it used to what it was was it was like 500 credits to get you five so at 500 credits to get you five if you gave up one elite five star orb you would get your 50 that you needed to upgrade a character to a four star right so in essence you were giving up one five star orb to pick a four star character to go to you don't get that anymore uh, I think that was right right 500 <coughs> into this is 10 so 10 times 5 of these would get you 50 of them and that would give you a jump from a 3 star to a 4 star now you have to give up a thousand of them to get 5 so in essence you only get 25 of them for giving up one elite 5 star so you have to give up two elite random 5 star orbs to promote one character up to a 4 star at this point so that means you're giving up a two to one ratio as to what you used to give up in the past. Down here with the Elite Six Star Orb, which I've never had, so I would never even consider this. Uh, I believe before, when it cost you 300 of them, you were having to give up like a thousand of these maybe. Uh, so a thousand would get you 50. You give up uh, 5,000 orbs, that would get you 250 maybe or maybe it was 500 of these it might have been 500 of these <coughs> 500 of these would get you 50 so then you would give up 10 of them you would get 500 of these orbs and the conversion rate at that point when it was 300 you would be able to convert one four star to a five star and have 200 towards your next one now at 2500 you're going to be giving away one uh, sorry one whole orb in essence to get 100 so you don't even get one full upgrade out of it because now it's 150 for the upgrade so you're only getting 100 credits with that conversion rate so you don't even get enough to really take a character from uh, five star to six star out of this whereas before the conversion rate would let you do so now this might not be a problem for most players because you've never seen any of these I've seen maybe 
two or three elite five star wars the entire time uh, I've been here and it's not because of mass spending I don't know whether I just got really lucky and got a bunch of extra four stars that would let me open this up um, but right now what the red star build has done in essence is it's made it more RNG based they don't want you taking your credits and changing them into stuff to be useful for the player thus the lack of control as a player and instead they've made it more where you're just going to buy more red star orbs to hopefully get what you want they've made it in essence useless to really exchange these to get what you want when you can try to open two characters here and maybe get it but then it's still based all off of really bad RNG so you're probably just going to get a duplicate or you're going to get a really low star version where you're going to get a character that you don't want instead of giving you a good conversion rate. They need to readjust these conversion rates to make it fair for the upper end players uh, as well as the lower end players. The, these down here, the Elite Four Star Wars, uh, I don't think they really changed very much. Uh, if, if they did, I'm not super aware of that one. I really was focused on the upper echelon because I was trying to figure out how much it would take me to convert <coughs> to a five star. Uh, and it, it's just it's more than what it used to be now the side note is when you do open the red star orbs you're getting extra elite credits that you can put towards your elite four star orbs you're getting extra ones of these four so you can get to the elite four star orbs faster you can get more of these promotional credits quicker so that might not be as bad but when you're talking about trying to go to a five star or being, picking a selective four star, the conversion rate is just, it's its almost double what it used to be on either of them to get what you want. You're going to have to give up, in essence, two elite five star orbs to get one hand-picked four red star versus before it was one for one four red star. You're going to have to give up at least two elite six star orbs to essentially pick one five red star and I mean that's just that's not a good conversion rate for anybody and I'm, they gave a, an excuse in one of their blogs that they don't want this to be the main way people focus on it but this was a mathematical controlled way for people as players in your game to control the outcome of the red stars to pick what they wanted instead of it being completely random if you're just going to make it completely random just get rid of all these little credits here and just back here you don't get to convert I mean just, just say you don't get to convert and uh, then we'll see how many players stick around for that because you're taking it in essence and making it a completely RNG based game uh, the fact that new characters can't be found in the red star orbs when you're first opening them up or not the red star orbs but the uh, uh, supply store here brand new characters won't be able to be purchasable in this stuff <coughs> is ludicrous that's like saying yo-yo won't be done Minerva won't be done uh, any of the uh, Black Order won't be able to be farmed in this so you can't even selectively pick them you have to wait for them to become farmable before they'll even appear in the store um, so in essence you have to buy Red Star Orbs and hope on RNG being in your favor to get a good Red Star Orb on any future new characters everything that's currently been in there and back will still be viable uh, that's what they've stated we'll see how that holds up um, but the thoughts on the Red Star Orbs is it's still all RNG based yeah you do get extra credits so I mean you can go over here and like when I click on the full Red Star I've, I've got extra credits I was able to open a couple of five uh, Red Star Orbs um, over the past little bit because of this and those were very nice um, <clears throat> but in essence you're saying for me to open up more orbs is the only way to go to ensure that I can get to a five star opening or a six star opening and then it's all left to chance there's nothing that I can do about it like the characters that I did get that I would consider uh, a worthwhile upgrade was a six red star Doctor Strange which is really good when you're running with the Supernatural team and I got a six red star Karnak which Karnak is a crack character in my opinion but he does make up uh, fifth slot for an Inhumans, but he, he's a one-trick pony. He's one of the most replaceable characters in the game And as soon as another Inhuman comes out that is worthy of being put in there 
he's going to be out in the cold. Let, let's just face that as it is. Karnak is not the best character on the planet. <coughs> and it was all random. It wasn't like I could, oh, well, maybe I'll just save these credits and shift them into this and then hand select a character for me to go to. But that being said, the Red Star Worlds are that way. Uh, the promotions right now, you have to spend $150 to do it, or you can take part in this event, like I'm saying, and spend 500 credits a day and get to pick a 4 Red Star to a 5 Red Star. Now, with all that being said, and me getting that kind of a rant off of my chest, which I'm sure most people have heard this before or watched other videos on it, it is now 12.01, so I can go back technically and hit Dark Dimensions 3, not 2. I don't need to go into 2. Dark Dimensions 3 should be able to reset and relaunch. All right, let's do one more run. <coughs> this way I didn't use any... Uh, any excessive cores. I'm saving my cores, like I said, so don't expect to see double attacks. Uh, these will probably start coming at the end of videos for the next little bit when I do a video. Uh, so don't expect to see Dark Dimensions 3, Day 15, or anything like that. It'll just be like at the end of one of my videos. So you can wait and watch that footage if you feel like it. Special got off, that's always good. <coughs> Focusing on Miss Marvel. Trying to get rid of some of the tank aspects. Of the one of my friends said that's one of the hardest parts of the whole thing is the tanks just, they, they go absolutely nuts. You can't get to the targets you really want because the tanks are always up and they don't ever die. That's like 102,000 Miss Marvel, so me getting through her is going to be rough. Anyway, that's my two attempts at Dark Dimensions 3. That's my little spell over Red Star or Brie Works. Um, I don't feel like it really benefited the players as much as it's going to benefit the company in terms of they've plotted it out and thought it out to where instead of people exchanging a rate in favor of them, uh, they just want you to buy more Red Stars. So... It's going to hurt the whales who are trying to get red stars uh, and red stars on new characters because they can't until the character becomes farmable. Uh, that's going to hurt their sales. Nobody's going to spend money on random RNG when they're not even going to get it on a character that they want to begin with. Um, and the conversion rate, if they would adjust the conversion rate back down to where it was something significant, like if I'm giving up a five red star potential character or a guaranteed five red star character, to upgrade to one four-star pick, that is something that is in everybody's favor. If I'm giving up one six red star guarantee to turn something into a five red star that I want to have turned, that is something that we should have the choice over and be selected on. And instead of having to wait and give up twice as much, you're making people go twice as long to do the same thing they were doing before. So fix that, Fox Next, please, if you're paying attention. And if you like this video, if you like the information I'm giving to you guys, please give me a thumbs up, click that subscription button down there so that I know you're wanting to follow my video footage, and hit the bell icon so you know when I put up a new video. Uh, and there is a Patreon link below. If you want to be a Patreon, go ahead. Uh, I'll work out details on what I'll do for specialty things in a later date. Uh, I'm just now getting that up and running. <coughs> But that's not necessary. Uh, I would rather people just watch my show and enjoy the content and share the videos with people right now to help my channel grow. Okay, That's the best way you all can help me out is just share my content, give me feedback on what you think about the Red Stars, um, and also if you pulled something amazing out of it. Like I said, I got two six Red Stars out of it, which is not bad. Don't get me wrong, it is not bad. <clears throat> but I didn't get them out of the basic orbs I had. I had to wait to build up all those credits to get four elite star orbs, and I got two six red stars out of that. So I was very grateful for those six red stars because you don't normally get them. But still, the lack of choice is something that I think a lot of players are going to be upset about. Anyway, thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all later. Bye.